Hello, fellow traders, tis I, the Rumpled One. Coming to you on Thursday, September the 30th, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. It's the last day of the month, so it's time for the monthly wrap-up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. So, the end of the month, last trading day of the month. Let's just see... Uh, What's going on out there? The pound has pulled 60 pips off the low. It's at 134.72 at the moment. And we're 281 pips below the monthly open and 128 below the previous month's low. So obviously we've got a red month. Something to note. You can see here where price came down to, came down in these upper wick zones, broke the lower wick zone of this candle here, just barely, as you can see. In fact, we're right in that lower wick zone now, so you might expect price to push up, but if it were to break, uh, let's see, 134.50 it might continue downward and if it does then once again you see it's in these upper wick zones and in the body of let's see what candle is that uh, December's candle for the week 129 pips below the previous week's low and if you're just tuning in all the uh, weekly open gaps have filled you can see we took out the weekly pivot there for the day 63 62 pips off the low uh, we're definitely in the upper rat zone two pips off the daily high but we're below the opening range for the year once again you can see we're below the open for the year the month and the week but we're 53 pips above the daily open right now still out of those inside bar we possibly could have an inside bar today range is only 65 only one pair over 100 pips buy zone we took out the pivot a few hours ago and you can see here if you had taken that short you would have gotten your fingers burned but if you would have looked left you'd see that you were in those lower wick zones so chances are price was going to push up and the red rats are probably getting ready to feast but be careful for the uh the pivot trading plan it seems these past couple of days that these biases uh around the pivot have definitely been uh been wrong but we've had some crazy days, but here H4, um, long-term prediction, we've got the open at 36.71. That's a return bar. Price needs to get back up there. We'll see what happens. Okay, we took out today's pivot. Yesterday's pivot still missed at this point in time. Weekly pivot we took out and the monthly pivot we took out. So, I was wondering, we can probably look at where the, uh, tomorrow we'll know where the monthly pivot is, and we'll see, uh, we can target that pivot. In and out of that lower wick zone, and it, once again here would have showed you um, the buy zone traders, it's like, wait a minute, 
Uh, I'm in that lower wick zone. I don't know if I want to take that trade. Maybe I should wait for the wick zone to come into play. That's just one way to analyze it. And on our DSLR scalper screen, along with the higher, low, lower, high, you can see here, um, right here, we had a trigger. Actually, the trigger would have been right in this area, and I'm, I didn't take these trades. And there was the same thing happened down here, and I didn't take that trade either. Um, I guess I was brain fog or something, but, you know, clear signal here. Plus, it was in the launch pad. I did get, oh, what was it, 17 pips or something out of the launch pad, but there was a lot more to be had. In fact, I even called out a uh, this return bar here, but I exited out somewhere around here. I was with, talking with Walmart on the phone earlier. So Walmart lines this hour. I uh, had a couple opportunities here to go short. Um. And if you take in these long trades right now, you'd be underwater. In fact, I need to ask Walmart about that. If the, uh, when the lines near the upper lines near the daily high and the lower lines near the daily low, if he uh, takes those trades or if he has any special considerations. So you can see we're in the upper rat zone for the day, putting in a two ball on the H1. And on the ATR chart, you can see once again in the upper uh, rat zone, we crossed above the bottom wick. Bottom wick, we crossed above the uh, bottom of the uh, previous can day's candle here, making a new high this hour, put in the low six hours ago. And we're, we're definitely pushing the price up. Previous day's mids at 82, which would probably that be a nice 50% retrace for you. Fibonacci traders and frequency distribution. If we look at the month, let's see, we don't have the ranges high enough for the month to make any sense. So I'd have to go in and change those. I'm trying to remember if there was any questions out there. Um, no, I don't recall seeing any questions. Today's H1 ranges, as you can see here, have been back to what we'd almost consider normal. And then if we you take a look here at the monthly range 501 this month which seven months ago we had one at 675 so over the last 100 months which is what eight years and a quarter or so and a third This 501 is at the 61 percentile. Maybe. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could, if we change that to 24, just look at the last two years worth of data. But I usually like to use as usually around 100 or more. But once again, when you get to the month, <clears throat> you probably don't really care about 
eight, nine, ten years ago, even five years ago, <clears throat> excuse me, you're probably more interested in the more recent months to get an idea. Oh, and if you're wondering why there's this funny shading, that's just the uh, sweet spots gold indicator I have out there, but I don't have the uh, price boxes because when you get to the month, it um, scrunches things up. But I should probably put the auto adjust function on there. So now they're, they're 100 pips apart. So we've definitely had a big range for the month. In fact, I was reading somewhere, somebody was saying, hey, the month has to at least go past 450 or something to that effect because they were looking at the um, average uh, true range or average um, range for the month and they were comp adding it to, uh, I can't remember if it was the um, current monthly high and low. They said, nope, there's more expansion to be had. And in this case, they were right. But see, if you looked at the average, it was only 376, so. that didn't happen i think we put that the big range in yesterday or one of the big ranges in yeah 143 and then the day before 197. so there were some big ranges and you can see here we just popped out <clears throat> And this is when I start to kick myself because I was thinking I should have put a trade on maybe just a lot or two down at the 40 level and just let it run. Would have been worth, though, let's see, one lot would have been worth, what, 500 bucks right now? Oh, well, easy come, easy go, right? Hindsight's, oh, Harry Hindsight. But reality check is, you know, I've been talking about that launch pad for a long time. So that's just the trade that I like. You know, I like to trade between 40 and 50, taking long trades there on the pound dollar. Especially <clears throat> on days when the uh, daily is green. Because the uh, open was at 34.25, so it was 15 pips to the good once it got to the 40 zone. So that's just another way <clears throat> to analyze, you know, where price is, what you want to do, having your plan. And I was long at 41, but <clears throat> I actually had two trades. I had a trade that I had averaged in at like 30-something. I took the 30-something trade off, and I watched that my 41 trade go up and down three pips to five pips and i just said nope i'm holding till at least the 50s and i should have probably gotten put a second trade on so <clears throat> i could have taken like one ride so fellow traders that pretty much is going to wrap it up for the month um, we'll just have to wait and see how far does price hit 3,500? Does it hit 3,600? So I guess we'll go over that tomorrow. And I hope everybody had a profitable month, profitable trading day also. And just remember when you uh, sit down at your trading platform, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.